There we go. We're live. Hey, everybody. I see there's two watching. I'm guessing that's Mama and Adam still in the chat. If you're there, say hello. Um, I came today to show you what I picked up while me and Casey were on our little adventure in Florida. Hey, Jennifer. So we got Jennifer here. And I don't know if Casey's going to be in the chat. He typed up there earlier that he was first. because He can tell you a little bit about our fun. But, yeah, we had a great time. And I got some sun. And he definitely got some sun. He's a little bit on the crispy side. <clears throat> so I'll wait and let a few more people come in. And plus I ordered two rings that I'm going to add into um, to the auctions. So I got those in while I was gone. And then the few items that I picked up at that, it's called Ragtime, was the uh, thrift store that we went to. And I had, there's a piece here. I was going to check these stones out before I showed it and I forgot to. It's a really pretty brooch. I see five people watching. Give me the thumbs up when you join if you can and say hello. Hi, The Truth, here to give a quick thumbs up. Sell, 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 best, best wishes. Thank you. Yeah, this one I didn't test it or anything, but it is pretty. I feel like I've been away for so long. Hi, Shelly. <clears throat> Thanks for joining us. Hi, Lynn. And also, I wanted to show y'all, if you're a part of our Glam Squad, and we had Cheyenne on our uh, Glam Squad. Let me move my camera a little bit closer. I bought uh, this necklace and a few other things from her, but I have been wearing this the whole time. I absolutely love it. It is. It turned out to be 14 karat gold, and it has rubies down the center, and it is marked... 14k on the back but she said she didn't have a tester so i did win this in her auction y'all should check her out she's coming again i think this week on glam squad oh i don't know i left lynn at some point so that i could get a package out i had some items sell while i was away <clears throat> hi luzon So, yeah, if y'all haven't checked her out or you hadn't joined the Glam Squad, she has some really beautiful pieces. She had a lot of Joan Rivers. I purchased the Joan Rivers um, Ladybug bracelet. I got some beautiful sterling silver and garnet earrings from her. Miss the troll, yeah. So, we got six watching. All right, so I'll go ahead because I don't see too many. I don't know who else was live or whatever, but I had time right now to do this little haul. And then I've got to start working on that video from New Orleans so I can edit that and try to make a little short video of that trip. There's the shock of the day. <laughs> okay, I'll have to go back and see what was said. Hi, Patty. <clears throat> All right, to start with what I found at the thrift store. At the, at the thrift store, it's called Ragtime, and he has lots of jewelry, and he was telling us also that since the hurricane, um, a lot of people are liquidating a lot of stuff, so he's been getting a lot more jewelry um, and things like that in, and so um, I'll save my favorite piece to last, but here is a, I believe it is going to be, I think it's turquoise. It's not turquoise, then it could be satellite, but I'm pretty sure that's turquoise. It's one of those chip gemstone necklaces. And see, I didn't pay more than I didn't pay more than ten dollars for any item that I got that store. I don't want to know. <laughs> so that's just one of those long uh, natural gemstone chip necklaces, and. These are cool because you can stack them together with different colors. And, you know, a lot of times I'll take things like that and wrap it and make like a, a bracelet. That one's a little bit loose. Maybe if I could do it one more time. Yeah. And you can just do that and make little bracelets out of those. Those are fun. 
also if you have a smaller neck that I don't have, you can use one of those um, those little uh, little clamp things like you use on the long strands of pearls and beads and such. So I found that one and that one was pretty. I found this like very um, 50s atomic style brooch here and it has a big beautiful glass rhinestone in the center it's like a smoky topaz color <clears throat> that was that was a piece of it um i haven't tested this i'm assuming it's some kind of glass i think they call it dragon's glass when i looked it up it's a sterling silver very very old ring but i had bought from anita Fanita a brooch one time that had the same exact stone in it so when i saw the stone i was like that's cool that will match the brooch but i think it's set in sterling i'm gonna have to test it but it's super super tiny like this would be a child's ring is what it would be but you see that it's open in the back so it's not foiled it's whatever Whatever they do, they do it inside of, and it feels like glass. They do it inside of there, and it picks up almost, almost as if it were foiled the way it does. So I'm not sure. I'm going to do some research on that and find out what causes that effect in there. But it is so cool. Do you think this is real, Lynn, this one? Or do you, or you, do you mean... This one. I'll test everything. You think this one's not a rhinestone? But yeah, I believe when I looked up the brooch that I had gotten from her that had that stone that it was called Dragon's Glass. But like I said, on the back, it's open. It's not foiled. Anything like that. Okay. Awesome, Lynn. I'll let y'all know what I find out. I'll stick it to the gemstone tester and see if it shoots up past glass or not. I found this uh, sterling native ring with turquoise. He had a little ring um, bowl right next to the register and I just started digging through it and that's where I found these rings and also found the ring that I'm wearing today, which is my favorite piece that I will be keeping for myself. This is an unsigned one, so I would assume this might be an older piece. And this is more of that green turquoise really pretty and that one must be like a size I'd say probably a five I can fit it on my pinky finger it could be it could be I'm gonna have to look back over it it's been quite some time ago so one of his shelves was nothing but a bunch of necklaces that were all supposed to be like costume necklaces, but I got to picking through it. Everything. And this one I noticed was tarnished. I knew that the stones were real gemstones on there. So I'm pretty certain this is sterling. And it has a little toggle closure there. But you've got all kinds of different agates and quartz. Um, I'm guessing that's jasper there. There's a smoky quartz color, some citrine, this little nuggety type, maybe a type of turquoise there, has a really unique shape, but it's on a <clears throat> long, interesting, styled uh, sterling chain with that little toggle clasp. And again, like I said, the most expensive thing, I think, was the ring that I, I'm keeping for myself. Everything else was $10 or less. Some items, they were doing 20% off too. Some of the items I got for, I got a couple items for $2.40. <clears throat> I spent about, see, $85 on everything that I'm showing you. And these had that cute kind of Harley Quinn type um, design, and there is a marking on the inside. And I forgot to bring my loop down here. Looking at the cartouche, I think it's Avon. Yeah, these are Avon. It's marked inside on a little cartouche. So I, I got those. Those are pierced in a gold tone. Found um, a piece of Sarah Coventry that I haven't 
come across before. It's got the beautiful white enamel with the little blue berries there and it's gold tone. Let's get the Sarah Coventry right there. Hi, Nana's Treasures. <clears throat> this one looks like a like a vintage Monet or Trafari or something, but there's no tag. It just has the old spring ring. And I don't see any markings on the back, but I like the uh, the metal like this when it's painted white. It's a really, really pretty effect and very nice in the summer. So that one's vintage, maybe 70s or something. Um, there's this pair of sterling and mother of pearl leaf dangles right here that I got. See, they have the leaf carving on the front of them. They're a nice size, too. These are real pretty. And these are sterling. All the little findings on there are actually, I think, marked on, yeah, 925 on the, the ear wire there. Here's a really old ring, too. I'm assuming it's silver by the way it's tarnished. Didn't find the markings, and I bet if when I test the stones, they're going to either be a blue topaz. They have an older style cut to them. Let's see. Do you really have? But, um, I think they're either a blue topaz or possibly aqua, but I'm not sure. But that really has like an art deco kind of effect and style to it. It's a really unique ring. It's got the double stones there. And that is just a heavily tarnished silver. And it smells. So I think that it's going to be when I test it. The only one I tested was the one I'm wearing because I was excited about it. Um, these look like sterling that I'm going to test. They have some really long posts on them. Casey was joking. He said, you know, when you got fat earlobes. But <laughs> um, they have like those little kind of Indian style there's a glass stone that kind of looks like um, a garnet, so I'll have to put that on the tester too, but they look like that, and they have those little jingly things. That's the back of them, but you can see how long. The post is like super, super long. Get that back on the little card. So what have I been missing, guys? Any news? I heard y'all had a great option for CC. I heard about that going on while I was gone. This one is sterling and freshwater pearls. And the part that the pearls dangle from, I think, is shell. Little chandelier earrings. Those are cute and they're pinky colored pearls, but they iridesce a little. All kinds of colors, really, kind of give off a peacock effect at some points, but mainly kind of a, a pink. That was one of the pairs. And here's the one I wanted to test the stones. I found this little peacock. They're all prong set gemstones in like, um, let's see. Kind of amethyst colors. These look dark blue like sapphires. I'm assuming these will be um, CZs in there. And then these are kind of emerald colored there, but they're all open. I don't see anything that reveals that this is, you know, plated or anything, but I'm assuming it would be. But I'll do the scratch test. It would be cool if that turned out to be gold and those are real stones. <laughs> That'd be really nice. That's it for that, except for this piece. So y'all saw the ring that I've been wearing a lot lately that had the color changing, look like Alexandrite. I'm going to try to show you, see if it'll pick. It's just so hard on camera. 
for you to see that it's blue and then it turns purple and then fuchsia pink color. But I found another one. This is the one I found down there. So this one I paid ten dollars for. If you look at the at the setting, how unique and and old it looks. It looks really early 1900s to me. This may not be the original stone that was in there. But what I look when I look it up, because I don't know the difference, how to tell between the Alexandrite and the color changing sapphire. But based off of what I've read, I would go with this is a color changing sapphire. Because they talk about the Alexandrite, you will see greens. I really don't see the greens. I see blues, purples, pinks, and it changes in the sunlight or when you come inside. And it has the little markings, but I did test this one and it's 14K. Let's see if I can just mark this up for you. And it almost looks like um, an, an Asian lettering inside and then a little star um, right there next to it but it looked like a K to me the color looked like gold I was thinking probably 10 karat gold or maybe gold filled but nope it turned out to be 14 so that was cool so now I have that color and with a gold tone I can wear with my gold jewelry and then I have one in the marquees in the sterling setting that I can uh, hey love <laughs> That I can wear with my silver jewelry and okay so now we can open up I was showing them the jewelry we found at ragtime and now I had two rings that came in I wanted to show you too I found this in the car it's like bits and pieces of jewelry I think your aunt sent it for your mom so I'm gonna have to give that to you just like broken bracelet pieces and stuff that she can craft with let me use just to open this up. Hey, you didn't. He didn't find any jewelry while we were down there. I don't believe. Did you buy anything at that store? But he's got to show you his Buddha. I know he put it on Instagram. I bought him a Jade Buddha necklace as his birthday gift, and it's pretty massive. It's nice. We found it at TJ Maxx. let's see let's see one of these is supposed to be a blue lace agate and the other is supposed to be a type of turquoise that I have a pair of the they call it something peak turquoise I have earrings of the same oh they take their uh, bubble wrap and they they melt it together or something to keep it closed it weighs 20 pounds. <laughs> oh my goodness. Ithaca Peak Turquoise. That was the name I was trying to think of. So this one's in a size eight and a half. It's a nice um, ring. It kind of could be like a men's or women's kind of unisex, really. It says it's an eight and a half, but here we go. It fit, but it took a second. It's a teardrop. And it has that real pretty um, like copper running through it. And that's why I love the earrings or gold kind of copper. That's why I like the earrings that I have because I like that. But see, it has a nice wide um, band on there. It tapers down at the bottom. It's not Mark 925, but they sold it to me as sterling. Oh, yes, it is. It is up at the top. I'm still going to test it and make sure. But um, the person, I think these are handcrafted pieces. So that one's nice. That one's cool. Hi, Kimmy. I left a, um, a comment on Shamrock Pixie's video because she told me to go check it out that she opened that jar that, that uh, Dwayne sent her. I thought she was there, so I thought she knew who sent it to her. So I didn't realize that she didn't know, but apparently um, I didn't send her the right jar because the one she was supposed to get that she was supposed to get had a shamrock like in resin in it. Hey, Peyton. 
And I think that's why he picked that particular one for her. But I must have mixed it up when I was packaging them and sent it to somebody else that got a jar from him because he's he bought like all the jars and gave them to people. <laughs> I did have a great vacation, Peyton. Thank you. Me and Casey thoroughly enjoyed ourselves. I think that's the first time I've been to the beach in a long time without kids. So. Yeah, I know. I, I don't even know who got it because there were so many jars that I sent out. And I, I was probably rushing because I knew we had to pack up and <clears throat> get ready to leave. I'll find her something. I have these cute little jars I can send her, uh, little trinket boxes that she would like. They're vintage and they're cute. And they have like this little lady and shamrocks all over them. Yes, he is. So I believe this one's supposed to be a size eight or eight and a half as well. I think it's a, an eight, eight and a half. This is a blue lace agate in sterling. It's got that um, southwestern style setting. Nice thick band on it. That's pretty. And I've sold a lot of blue lace agate lately. That was just gorgeous. So I think it was... Um, who was it that got that pendant that was so pretty? Oh, I can't remember. But if you are the one and you need a ring, here is your ring to go with it. It's so beautiful. I love that stone. That's why they call it the lace because of the way the, uh, the striations through it. And it does have that light kind of baby sky blue color. So those two rings will be added and there should be a couple more coming in because I try to keep stocked up on rings <clears throat> that should be coming in soon. And other than the jewelry, I don't think we bought anything else like bring home kind of stuff. <laughs> we saw a lot of thrift stores when we drove down to Destin to go hit the beach. We saw a lot. So if you're ever in that area, Take 98 to Destin from Panama City, and there are Goodwills, there's local thrift stores, all kinds of places all along that, that path. But make sure you check out the Ragtime. They are in town in Panama City, not on the beach, but in town, um, because he has just so many things, so many cool things. <laughs> Yeah, we got to get Casey on there while he's looking like a red link sausage and get him to talk about the, the trip. Hi, Pamela. Hi, Hetty. I'm glad to see everybody. It's time for me to get my stuff completely unpacked and get back to, I've got to get ready for Glam Squad and probably some clothing and clothing and accessories sale. Uh, on Thursday over there and then I'll be back Monday with Casey we'll have some of this awesome jewelry that we found available Are you still there Casey I don't know if he's still in the chat my eyes are itching I got a little bit burnt but not too bad it's not too bad his is mine's already started to turn brown it'll peel a little bit worst part was on my shoulder and a bra strap kept um kept rubbing it making it more sore and let's see yeah he's still there oh i can't see it here i um i had help what, last week before I left, um, getting to 500 subs took me right up to 500 subs. And then I had two people unsub. <laughs> so I'm still going to wait until I get, I guess, a little bit over 500. So it will be at 500. But I'm going to do that giveaway as soon as I can get to that mark and stay at that mark. Yeah, it. Yeah, it's not so bad for me, but Casey's suffering. I tried to tell him, but he didn't want to listen. He, he's like, I'm going to get tan. 
and he turned red. <laughs> Hopefully he'll have some color left over after it all peels off though. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and when I looked up the ring, if you look up comps on these color changing um, sapphires, Ruby Lane has a quite a few uh, different styles of them. This one seemed kind of similar to what I what I have. Kind of like that. And they had it listed for 800, but now they have it on sale for 500. So I think I did pretty darn good on that piece. Because I haven't seen one on Etsy or Ruby Lane or anywhere that wasn't at least over $100. There's another one here for 450. So, yep, look out for those kinds of stones. Don't automatically assume that they're you know not real because they definitely can be he didn't hetty mm -mm. I, I i have some that's like organic and it's like thick almost like desitin and it goes on really really thick that's what i put on my kids because it's so waterproof that it and thick that it doesn't uh wash off easily and i tried to um get him to put that on but he was like mm -mm. <laughs> And of course, you don't feel it until you get off the beach, get back to the house, and then you're like, oh, I'm so sore. But I knew we were riding with the sunroof open. I could tell I was getting like the sun was beaming down on my forehead <laughs> the entire ride. And it was about an hour's drive. Yes, Peyton, exactly. Because that's what I was looking into and that's what I was telling everybody earlier is that they say when looking at these, um, it should have some green in them. If it's a real Alexandra, it should pick up green. If I take mine out into the sunlight, it goes blue and then you bring it in. You've got a deep purple, then it turns to a fuchsia, but I don't see any green picking up in mine. And it says those would be the color changing corundum or sapphire what it said or barrel barrel i don't know a color changing sapphire that's what they said <laughs> thank you hetty yeah i'm developing um a pretty good tan i think my arms do good i never tan very well on the underneath sides of my arms they stay pr pretty pale well it my my gemstone tester shoots it up into the sapphire range, but of course I'm guessing it could do that whether it was lab created or natural. That's the hard part. You can read online. You've got so many different, um, I guess, ideas of what what it is, but. <laughs> that's okay Pamela right okay it's lab created okay but yeah so but I think with this they say that some lab created um some lab created stones like this can be you know valuable because it's not something that you can find so frequently like this would be a good substitute for alexandrite and because it's so rare and so expensive this still has good value too and with it being in 14 karat you know it, it still has good value very common from the 50s set in 10k mm -hmm. i'll show you i don't know if you were in here when i was showing the mark on the inside of the ring i was trying to pick that up it, it almost looks like oriental but it looks like a k there at the end but i did the gold testing but if you look at the uh setting the setting looks very almost victorian like it's got um leaves and flowers or at least earlier 1900 i don't know because that's that looks like an older a lot older setting to me
but definitely I think the one that I have in Sterling, I, I would think that it's probably from like the 50s. Yeah, it's not marked Crements, which I do have a lot of Crements. And Crements that I have is um, Goldfield. This is actually gold. This is actually 14. Thank you. Yeah, I love it. I think it's nice. And what else? What else? What else? What else? There's something else. No, I think that's it. So, yeah, check out Glam Squad. I think we've got Blandine over there tonight. And this is Tuesday night. So I'm not sure who is on YouTube tonight. They do do solid gold. Okay, awesome. I'll look at that, too. I want to test this one and see if any of those could be natural or if this is actually going to be gold because I haven't went through anything else. I was just excited to do to find out about this one. And I believe this one's going to be sterling. Would you say that that one looks very art deco? It does to me, even the way the stone is cut, but it doesn't have. Uh, what's that part of the stone? That's the tip of it cut off. Like the European cut, it does. It's not cut like that, but the cut of the stones do seem older and it's very tarnished. I think they're going to be blue topaz. Yeah, I think deco. I was like, yay! <laughs> uh, 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 uh. Yeah, that fit me. It will fit me. And the other one was this one. Turquoise, Sterling, Southwestern style ring. And then this very old one. Do you know anything about the dragon's breath? If that's what that is and what it's made of? Because it's open in the back. It's not foiled. So and it, it's definitely glass. I don't know what causes that, that effect. Do you? I have a brooch, a really old brooch. And this is obviously... A pretty old ring. It's tiny too. Hi, Darlene. Mm-hmm. Yeah, definitely. I think Navajo on this one. <clears throat> no, it's not. That's um. Do, what makes the effect in there? What do they add to the glass, or how do they make that? Hey, Gianna. Do you have, this is a teeny, I would say this is probably like a size three. That's as far as it will go on my finger. Yeah, this is not foiled. I just don't know enough about dragon's glass or dragon's breath or whatever to know what it actually is. And I feel like I see brass coming through on this one but it smells like sterling so i'm just gonna have to clean it and see it's got like an opalite glass in it i believe it's not like sapphire where it has gold sapphire okay neat 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 okay cool yeah, I guess for most people, this is going to have to be like a little girl's ring or something. But I feel like I see brass kind of showing through. There might be a light mark that's starting to wear down right there, but I can't tell. Just by the design, it's got like mill grain work to the side of it and everything. So I feel like it's a little older. You wear tiny rings? Well, it, I'll put it. I'll put it in there in the auctions if you're interested in it. I'm going to look that up. Like I said, I have a brooch that I keep that has that stone, and that's the only time I ever looked it up, and I didn't do a whole lot of in-depth searching. It matches my scarf. What size do you wear, Peyton? Like the smallest, like maybe pinky or whatever, four or five. Oh, you wear that? I think this is like a three. Because I can put a five on my pinky finger, but I can't even get this 
just to my knuckle. That's as far as it'll go. So I'm thinking that's a three. Maybe you could wear this one as a pinky ring. <laughs> yeah, so that might work for you. I'll definitely measure it out and let you know. Um, so, yeah, I've been doing pretty good on my Etsy shop, you know, since I put 20% off for Mother's Day. I put a, I made it a mom sale month of May. Um, so I did the whole entire month. So we still got a few more days of the sale going on in my store. 20% off anything in there has done pretty good. When we went to New Orleans, I sold a few things, had to get back and ship those out. And I sold one thing on uh, Poshmark while I was away. So if you haven't ran a sale in your store, I definitely recommend doing that. And I did advertise that I got my Poshmark ambassador status. And since that's happened within like a week, I've gained like a thousand more um, followers on there. So that's a goal to work towards if you're trying to grow your Poshmark is to definitely push and get to that point where you've met all the requirements for ambassador because it seems to really help, you know, bring more uh, followers to your store. Hi, Arito Jules. Hi, Lydia, how are you? about 12 30 yeah i'm going to try to come up with what i'm going to list this week and then get everything pulled out and set up and cleaned up for thursday night again if y'all ever have any questions or you need to ask me something or if you got something going on and you want me to join you or help you just let me know i know some of y'all are trying to start making videos or maybe trying to do auctions for the first time. And I don't mind helping anybody if y'all need help. But I appreciate everybody showing up today and seeing what I found. And I will see you guys pretty soon. Have a great day. Bye.